everybody, welcome back to another product review. Now today, I'll be taking a look at Fez Audio's brand new Phono preamp. And this is pretty cool because I was already in the market to upgrade my current Phono preamp, which is this no-name one I got off of Amazon. I think it was like 50 bucks. I don't know how good it is. So this will be cool to check this out in comparison to that one because I think that's an entry level and this one, is an upgrade for sure, but we'll see if we can hear the differences. So we're gonna start with an unboxing and then we'll dive into the pros and cons before wrapping it all up. But full disclosure, they did send me this free of charge for this review, but my opinions are my own. All right, let's open this box up. Here we go. Now keep in mind, this did come in a larger box, but I already got rid of that. I'm gonna do another thing right there. Oh, there we go. Boom. Oh, nice. Looks like it comes in a canvas bag, not unlike their, their tube amp. Let's get that out of there. Whoa, move this box. Oh, well, there are some instructions. Let's grab these instructions real quick. Get rid of this foam. Obviously, we got the power cord. All right. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit different. More of like a tote bag style. And there, wow, I did, I mean, I guess I should have assumed it'd be pretty long, but wow, uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me remove this bag. There's not a lot of instructions. I mean, you basically plug it in and then on the back here, you just, you, you put your turntable in here, you obviously hook up your ground, and then this goes into your receiver, your amplifier, whatever you got. And there you go. Oh, that's cool. It's got a, a sticker right here saying who was assembled by and who tested it. Oh, this is nice. So this is uh, very similar to the tube amplifier. The emblem here is um, kind of inset onto this front piece, but it is sort of a CNC'd piece, I don't know, aluminum it looks like to me. Very nice, very sharp. All right, so I got a chance to really test out the Gaia MM. So what I ended up doing, I did a three-way comparison between the Fez, my old CR620, and the preamp I was using, it's just a generic thing I got like 50 bucks off of Amazon. And what I did is I compared it to the Planets by Holst, because I figured uh, that's kind of got a lot of dynamic range. It's got quiet moments, got very bombastic moments, and hopefully YouTube <laughs> won't copyright flag it. We'll find out. Uh, and I, I played it, uh, the Fluence, I went from the Fluence into the, each of these preamps and then in directly into my H6 Zoom recorder. Uh, and then I kind of sat and switched between all three amps to kind of give a, to kind of give a sense of, of what exactly this, this machine is doing. Now it does come in four different colors, this burgundy black, white, and red. And so you can match it up with your existing Fez amplifier if you have one. And you can buy it through them or one of their retailers. They will ship worldwide, which is pretty cool. And I talked to Michael uh, who helped create this and he said part of the reason it's it's so long is that they wanted it to be, they wanted it to be very uh, sturdy and uh, well built and also to kind of match the look of the Silver Luna Prestige over there. And then the other thing too is that even though it, it is a, it says MM Phono Preamp, this does work with a moving coil. So it's moving magnet or moving coil uh, cartridges will work with this and it will work with a tube amp or a solid state amp. It works with either. So anyway, I'm gonna play you the music and I'm gonna switch between the three different sources to see if you guys will hear a difference. And after that, I'll tell you my thoughts on the preamp.
I will say that this TC750, there was a lot of noise coming through, a lot of interference with this guy. It's not very, it's not a very clean sound. It's kind of muddy, especially when it get real kind of high end. It just doesn't sound good, um, in my opinion. Now, I couldn't hear a big difference between this lovely Yamaha and this new Fez. Um, I felt like, you know, if you're going for that kind of vintage solid state sound, this Fez unit, I thought does a really good job. It was very clean. I felt that the overall sound reproduction was, was very honest, very true to the, to the record. It didn't add anything. Uh, like you might expect from a like a tube amp would probably add a little a little something to the mix But I felt it was very straight clean amplifying the sound without amplifying a lot of noise and stuff So overall, what are you gonna pick this or this? I, I think I'm gonna end up with this uh, It's probably actually cheaper than these things are going for now, but you know, this is a receiver It does a lot more than just pre just the, amplify a, a turntable Fez they make quality stuff Aesthetically, I think it looks great. I love this front. What's really cool is that this Fez logo lights up when it turns on, which I love that power indicator. <laughs> it looks so classy. Uh, it's very sturdy, very heavy. It doesn't take up as much room as obviously this receiver. It is much larger than, you know, you'll see other competitors, they'll put their preamp in a form factor such as this, which, you know, is nice, you can kind of tuck this away, but I think you're sacrificing some quality with something you, you cram it into something like this because I really noticed a, a difference with this machine. Now they do make a mini version of this. I haven't had a chance to play around with that. I think it's about a hundred euros less, maybe a little bit cheaper than that actually. It, it's essentially this, but cut in half. Pretty much the rest is all the same. And then there's also a step above this which has a separate input for a moving magnet or moving coil and it has some other filters and things on top of that. Another thing I really like about uh, Fez Audio as a company is that they, they do really pride themselves on listening to records. So they, they have a real respect for that medium and so when they go into making audio equipment, they have that in mind versus maybe some other, like, especially this company, I don't, <laughs> I think they're just trying to make a preamp. Um, uh, Fez really takes into account the qualities of vinyl when they, when they made this preamp. So that's another thing too. I think they had the right intention going into this. And so I, I think it's great. I really don't have any negatives. I guess maybe nitpicks might be it might be what you call it. I'm, I'm not, I don't really love the power switch on the side here for aesthetics. I, I would prefer it back here. In fact, I keep thinking it's behind here where the power supply in, but it's not, that's okay. It's really not a big deal. It's a little long, but again, I, I don't think that's a big deal either. That amp is very long as well. And actually it makes a good stand for my, uh, record care clit, uh, kit right there. I can just put it right there as, as I'm sure you guys have seen my other videos. This is a very classy device. I love the look of it. Uh, it's very substantial. It's nice quality and I think it's right on the money. It's a mid-tier preamp. It's not like super high-end, probably overkill high-end, uh, but it's not like this $50, $60, $70 route that's a little bit smaller. That's maybe your entry point. It's like the next step up. And so I think for the price and for the build quality, it's a great deal. And with that, I give this my highest honor of five Pompadours out of five. What can I say? Fez Audio did it again. They make quality products in a form factor that is simple, no nonsense, gets the job done. And, and that's what I really like about what these guys do. It's just quality products for, I think, a very reasonable price. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this product. Until then, thank you all so much for watching. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.
Hey everyone, thanks again for watching my review on the Fez Audio Preamp. Now if you want to see my review on their tube amp, I put a link right there as well as a link to a playlist with a bunch of my other product reviews. Mm -hmm.